Procrastination is something every student has experienced. It can totally ruin your workflow and if you don't deal with it soon, it can compound into multiple days. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jack Perry and I'm a year 13 student studying biology, chemistry, maths and psychology. In this video, I'm just going to quickly go over a few tips you can use to overcome procrastination. As usual, timestamps will be in the description below so you can jump around and find exactly what you're looking for without wasting any time. The first thing I want to discuss is something called Parkinson's Law. And what this essentially states is that your work will expand to fill the time that you allocate to it. This will probably explain why if you have an assignment that's due in for two weeks, you will sometimes usually find yourself still doing it the night before, even though you had the whole two weeks to work on it. Now, realistically, this task doesn't take two weeks to do, but we will still somehow find a way to make it last the full two weeks. Now, a lot of the time, this can actually be unconscious and we don't realize we're doing it. We could have a lot of work and we see this one task that's due in two weeks and we continuously tell ourselves that, we have more than enough time to get it done, so we'll do it later. However, that's rarely the case, and when we say later, we usually end up doing it the day before it's due. Now, although Parkinson's law can be a reason that you're procrastinating, it can also be a way that you can counteract this procrastination and use it to your advantage. One way I like to use Parkinson's law to help me overcome procrastination is by setting myself shorter internal deadlines. So for example, if I do have an assignment that's due in two weeks, then I'll tell myself mentally that I only have one week to get it done. Now, as well as using Parkinson's law in a larger scale, you can also use it in a much smaller scale. For example, if I have a set of exam questions that I tell myself I need to get done, instead of telling myself that I'm going to get it done today, I tell myself that I'll get it done in the next half an hour. Now, a lot of the times I won't get it done in the half an hour, but by setting myself that internal deadline, I end up getting done a lot more work than I otherwise would have done. If you can mentally set yourself shorter deadlines, then through Parkinson's law, you should technically be able to overcome procrastination and get a lot more work done. The next bit of advice that I want to talk about is something called the two minute rule. Now, this is especially useful for me when I'm in a productivity slum and I have a lot of small things that I need to get done that I'm just putting off for no reason. The idea of this rule is that if you have a task that takes no more than two minutes to do, then you force yourself to do it in that very moment. This for me has mainly been useful for when I have a lot of emails that have piled up that I need to reply to or if there's any messages I need to respond to in terms of arranging sessions with a mentor or anything along those lines. Typically those tasks don't take more than a few minutes but I end up putting it off and eventually they all build up and can become quite a big source of stress because then you have a lot of things you need to juggle at once. A lot of the time with these things, I'll tell myself that I'll get it done later and come later, I'm usually too tired to get them done and since they're so quick and simple, I tell myself that I'll probably get them done tomorrow and usually it never happens until right before I need to sort it out. Although procrastinating on smaller tasks doesn't seem as significant, these tasks can really build up and then eventually they become a really big task and soon you'll be procrastinating more and more because everything will just start piling up. And the last thing I want to talk about is removing distractions, which is probably the most obvious way to overcome procrastination. A lot of the time when we're procrastinating, we find ourselves scrolling through our phones, going on social media or even on YouTube watching a bunch of videos for no reason. We pick up our phones and we tell ourselves that we'll only scroll for five minutes or we'll only watch one YouTube video and before we know it, a few hours have passed and we've still done no work whatsoever. Now, one way I overcome this is by using an app to stop me from being able to use my phone. Now, the app I use is Forest, which you might remember me talking about in the video where I go through how you can work more hours in a week. However, there are still some times where I will let myself get distracted, even with these apps in place. And so in cases like that, I find the best thing to do is just to move my phone completely out of sight, either in a different room or away from arm's length so I can't reach out and um, start using it. Now, this might seem really simple, but there's been a lot of times where I've done this and I've still instinctively gone to grab my phone, only to realize that I've put it in a different room. And it's times like those where I realize that it's really good that I put my phone away because otherwise I would have ended up procrastinating or scrolling or finding some way to waste time and not do work. 
And with that, we have reached the end of the video. So if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, then leave a like, subscribe, and let me know if there's anything you want to see me do in the future in terms of videos, or if there's any questions you have about this video. That's been all from me, and goodbye.